Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we are going to learn what people do at the library. Are you excited? This should be fun. Claire is going to the library to get help on a research project for school. Miss Jones, the librarian, is ready to help her. Good afternoon and welcome to the library. Is there anything I can do to help you today? Hi, thank you. I'm Claire. I'm working on a school project and I need to get some information. Great to have you here, Claire. I'm Miss Jones. Can you tell me about your project? Yes, I'm going to write about Egypt. Egypt is really a fascinating topic. Tell me more about your project. I'm going to write about the pyramids. I need some detailed information about when they were built and who built them. Stuff like that. Oh, the pyramids. Excellent choice. We have a whole section on Egypt. I know there are some books that will have that information. Follow me and I'll help you find the perfect books. Miss Jones guides Claire through the library to the right section. Look here, Claire. We have the fiction section on your left and nonfiction on your right. And reference books are towards the back. What's the difference between fiction and nonfiction? That's a good question. Fiction is made up stories, while nonfiction is based on real events and people. The books about Egypt you want will be back in the reference section. This is where you find books on specific topics like Egypt. I'm not sure I would have found this on my own. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And let me make a suggestion. After you find the books about Egypt you need, you might want to check out a fiction book. There are so many good stories you'd love. Oh, I would really like that. Thanks for the suggestion. There's so much here. I don't even know where to start. Can you help me? Yes, I can. There's a numbering system. Each book has a unique number. Look up the subject in the online catalog and that will tell you the numbers. Then just find the numbers on the shelves. That's cool. I'll remember that. Here's the reference section. It's great for in-depth information about almost everything. Now, let me recommend a couple of books about Egypt. Yes, please. Lost Worlds of the Past has excellent information with pictures and The Egyptian Pyramids is comprehensive. Both are excellent books for you to get started with. These look perfect. Thank you, Miss Jones. This is really helpful. My pleasure, Claire. If you need any more help or have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Enjoy your exploration of Egypt. Will do. I appreciate your help. This library is amazing. Thank you, Claire. We're here to make learning enjoyable. Have a wonderful time working on your project. Claire starts looking through the books to gather information. Are you finding what you need, Claire? Definitely. These books have so much information. The pyramids are amazing. Learning about ancient worlds is like unlocking the secrets of our human past, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm so glad you pointed out these two books to me. My pleasure. Researching ancient civilizations is like embarking on a captivating journey, and Egypt is one of the most fascinating. I'm here to help you any way I can. I'll keep that in mind, Miss Jones. I'm so grateful for your help. It's what we're here for, fostering a love for knowledge, and who knows, maybe you'll inspire your friends with your project. That would be amazing. I can't wait to share what I learn with them. Thanks again. Good luck with your project, Claire. If you need to check out any of the books, just bring them to the front desk. Then you can take them home. How's your project coming along, Claire? Have you learned a lot? It's going well, thanks to your guidance. I never realized how much the library has to offer. Libraries are treasure troves of knowledge. Reading plays a crucial role in research. It's the key to learning. Plus, it's fun. Do you have any other tips to help me with research? Absolutely. We have computers here that you can use to do online research. And there are a lot of magazines on specialized topics. Explore these various sources and don't hesitate to ask for help. And remember, reading beyond your project's scope can spark new ideas. I never thought about exploring different genres. What do you suggest? How about trying a historical fiction novel? It can bring history to life in a different way. The author imagines life in other times and invents characters who lived then. But the author makes the history part accurate. So you learn, but get a good story as well. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'll get one the next time I come. 
Thank you so much, Miss Jones. This has been incredibly helpful. You're welcome, Claire. Libraries are here to support your journey. Enjoy your reading and research. I'm so glad your parents got a library card for you. I used it to check these books out for you. Now you can take them home. You can have them on loan for two weeks. Goodbye, Claire. Remember, the library is always here for you. Here are some of the vocabulary words used. Welcome, a greeting expressing hospitality or pleasure upon someone's arrival. Project, a planned endeavor or task with a specific goal or objective. Information, facts or knowledge about a particular subject or situation. Fascinating, extremely interesting or captivating. Pyramids, large structures with triangular sides built in ancient Egypt as tombs for pharaohs. Detailed, thorough and comprehensive, providing a lot of information. Reference, books or materials providing detailed information on specific subjects, often found in a library. Fiction, literature that is invented or imagined, not based on real events. Nonfiction, literature based on real events, facts or people. Section, a distinct part or division within a larger whole. Catalog, a list of items, books, or resources available in a library or store. Numbering system, a method of assigning unique numbers to items for organization or identification. In-depth, comprehensive and thorough, going into detail about a subject. Comprehensive, including all or nearly all elements or aspects of something. Exploration, the act of searching or investigating to learn more about something. Embarking, beginning or starting out on a journey or venture. Captivating, holding one's interest or attention strongly. Fostering, encouraging the development or growth of something. Inspire, to fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Treasure trove, a collection of valuable or delightful things. Crucial, extremely important or necessary. Scope, the extent or range of something. Genre, a category or type of literature, art or music characterized by a particular style, form or content. Historical fiction, a genre of literature that blends historical facts with fictional elements often set in the past. Loan, the act of lending something to someone temporarily, with the expectation of its return. Libraries are more than just book repositories, they're keys to knowledge. Explore, learn, and let your curiosity thrive. Is there a library in your school and your town? Have you been there? You can talk to your friends about the library, using the words you've learned in this video. And be sure to visit the library soon start on your own educational adventure. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.